Watch you guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to get lists of files in your directory in Windows 7. Now for instance you may have 30 gigs of music and you want to get a full list of what's in that folder and I'm going to show you how to do that with a bat file, simple command. Now this can be useful for also getting lists of files inside um, Windows system files and stuff like that, see what sort of uh, files you've got in there and also uh, it's very easy to do so let's get started so what we're going to need to do is open up notepad now this does work with Windows 7, Windows Vista and Windows XP so I'm going to open up notepad and it's a very simple command all we need to do is type a couple of simple things here okay so we need to do dir and then I will give you the list of all these uh, switches here to tell you exactly what they mean Okay, A is for attributes there. Okay, S. And then we've also got O, which is organized basically, and uh, S is for subdirectory. Okay, and then all we need to do here is type in our path that we want our file to go to. Now we can do that by actually creating a folder inside uh, my documents or wherever you want to put one. I'm going to put one in my documents. I'm going to call it uh, my. Uh, list something like that now make sure there's no spaces there okay on the folder and then all you need to do is go inside this folder right click on up here and then copy the address and we can finish this off by pasting that in there we can now go backslash and we're going to call this the file that we want to go in there so I'm going to call this say for instance list files uh, dot text okay so there's our finished article you can add other bits and pieces if you wanted to to your to your uh, code if you wanted to but this is pretty much it for me so all I need to do here now is save this file to what I want to call it now go all files and we're going to call this list files uh, dot bat okay so we've made a batch file there so we're going to go and save that onto our desktop okay so we can now pull this down there and this is our file here okay so what we need to do now is come down and put this to the right click context menu so we can quickly access this file and we can right click on folders and get lists created okay so all we need to do here is come down to the run bar type shell and then colon and we're going to put send to inside there okay open this up and we're going to need to copy this file inside there, okay, inside the send to. So just right click in here and paste, and it's inside there now, okay. We could have just sent it straight from there, but I wanted to show you this way, okay. So now that's inside there, we can now see how it works. So all we need to do is go to the start menu, and we're going to go to my document, say for instance, and I want to find out what's in Camtasia Studios folder. It's three gigs of uh, little videos in there that I've created so I just want to go right click send to and then have a little look at the bat file there list files dot bat that's the file that we've just put in there you'll see a flash on the screen from here I'll have a bit of blacks uh, whatever your command prompt box is mine's blue and that's what it is doing and all we need to do now is go into here and you'll see an actual file has been created so if I open this file up now you'll see a list of stuff all listed okay very very simple to get lists of stuff that you've got in that directory okay now if you wanted to save this we could actually save this if we wanted to save as and we could call this uh, whatever you like really videos and then so they don't ever get overwritten because if you try to do another one it would overwrite this file so if I save this now as uh, videos we, we've now we the next one we do will be overwritten so this will always be there but it'll always get overwritten okay so for instance if I wanted to go to my uh, Windows directory and uh, system32 say for instance to find out what's inside my drivers folder because uh, I wanted to find out whether there's any dodge, dodgy uh, .sys files in there I can right click send to and go to this list files and it will now put it inside this list files dot text file as you can see it's changed it's now all my system files very very simple okay 
so I can save this now if I wanted to to whatever I like to drivers oh, would help if I spelt that right okay and then we're going to save that and that's pretty much it really that's how you create that but what I'll do is I'll quickly show you um, the actual switches there so what we need to do is open up command prompt and I'm going to right click and run as administrator and what we need to do here is I'll just show you the actual switches that we've used now you can do this with any type of uh, command to find out what switches they have available for that command I'm going to just do this and it will show you what it means see A is for attributes and that will show hidden files, system files and so on ok and we used O which is list by files in sorted order and as simple as that and we used S which was for uh, subdirectories as well ok to list all the subdirectories in there ok so I hope you enjoy these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys show your support hit, hit the subscribe button and also favourite and, and like all my videos if you enjoy them if you've got any problems with your computers the link's down below for the forums and I shall see you over there okay thanks again guys bye for now